Welcome back, guys, to the channel. I'm Jake Ellenbogen, and today we'll be talking about one of my favorite draft picks the Rams have made in my lifetime, Terrell Burgess. The safety from Utah, third round pick in the 2020 NFL draft. Not only have I interviewed twice uh, on the Downtown Rams podcast, not only do I know him a little bit, great guy, but on top of that, he's a pretty interesting story coming from a powerhouse secondary over with Utah. When you look at what Terrell Burgess brings to the table, this is somebody that from the get-go really was kind of put behind everybody. You had a second round pick in Marquise Blair who went to the Seattle Seahawks starting before him. And so he finally got an opportunity to play with the likes of Julian Blackman and Jalen Johnson in that tough Utah secondary. And he succeeded. And I think that's really why I enjoyed his film so much. You saw how much he had to work to get to where he was. And then, of course, he had, you know, impressive film uh, to put him in the third round. The Rams really like him, a guy that can play a uh, dimebacker, uh, nickel, safety, both safety spots, either free or strong, can come up and really hit you hard um, and can really, you know, play all over the field with that 4-4 speed. He has a lot of range. Uh, so we're going to get into it. Um, but before we do, as always, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment and a, uh, a like for me if you like the video. And of course, uh, be sure to check out the Discord channel where we are now over 200 people. Uh, people are starting to file in. It's going to be really fun come NFL season. It's fun right now. Uh, so please feel free to join today. It costs literally zero dollars. Anyway. <clears throat> on to our video so 17 games you know the rules in the projection series we have two more videos guys this one and we have taylor rap coming tomorrow and that will be the end of this series which i really appreciate you guys uh for you know watching and, and staying uh you know in touch with but uh terrell burgess you know the rules 17 games i have 61 tackles uh, this guy missed nine games last year too, due to a broken ankle. Really unfortunate. Was finding his stride, and he was starting to actually get some serious playing time. You could see they were trying to rely him, rely on him in the Chicago Bears primetime game, and he actually suffered an injury, which ended up being a broken ankle and ended his season abruptly. Really unfortunate. And when you listen to the way Sean McVay talks about Terrell Burgess, even the way he did, uh, you know, at the end of the draft in 2021 this year he's very high on Burgess's ability and there's obviously a good reason as to why he's making great progress and he's already out there in OTAs you see him next to Jordan Fuller so there's a good chance he and Taylor Rapp are going to rotate at strong and have Fuller play free so I have 61 tackles. Burgess is one of the best tackling safeties I've seen uh, coming out of college in a long time. Uh, when you look at his ability, obviously he wraps up. He gets great form. Uh, but this guy has a pop behind his pads, and you're going to see that first and foremost on any film uh, you know, piece of video that you find with Terrell Burgess. He found it even in a short amount of time playing with the Rams last year on defense. He lays the wood. He can do that. And so uh, he may be a little smaller, uh, but he's definitely a feisty one, and he's got a lot of speed. I have 61 tackles because of it. I do have him splitting time. Taylor Rapp, I don't know the extent of where that will go. Uh, but if you ask me who should start, I would definitely say Burgess. Uh, moving on, I have eight pass breakups. Again, we talk about the range. You talk about the ball skills and the mobility in this guy. He can move extremely well. And obviously, I'm not going to penalize him because of the broken ankle. I think he'll be back 100% come September. I don't expect to see a fall off in that regard as an athlete. I have eight pass breakups because of it. I really like his overall athleticism. Plus, you know, running that 4-4 really makes me excited. Safeties, when they run that 4-4, 4-3, even 4-5, uh, are just faster than everyone else on the field, it seems. And they have that range. Burgess can, you know, come up and make a play, uh, but also he can stay back and, and work in coverage. And, you know, I think he's going to have a lot of help with Jordan Fuller, but he's also not going to need a ton of help because of what he can do. He's literally a do-it-all type of guy. So I have eight pass breakups. Uh, again, I have two interceptions, ball skills, 
uh, to obviously be a reason to point to. But on top of that, you look at what he did in college, uh, his anticipation. He can jump routes. Uh, this is somebody that wants to make the big play. He doesn't shy away from it. He's going to be consistent in that he's not a, an all-or-nothing guy, uh, but when he has an opportunity, he's going to force himself into that crease and try to pick off a pass. So I have two interceptions for Terrell Burgess uh, in his true, I guess, rookie year uh, as a quote-unquote starter. And then after that, I have two forced fumbles. When you see the way he comes up and just lays a punishing blow on a defender, uh, I mean, on a ball carrier, uh, you can really see this guy has potential to really be a hard-hitting machine and, and a guy that can force a lot of fumbles, generate a lot of uh, you know, f force fumbles, and that's, to me, somebody in Terrell Burgess that you're going to see with the Rams. I don't think that changes because of the injury. He's not going to play any different. So with that, I have two force fumbles. Uh, the Rams are going to have, uh, you know, fumbles everywhere from, you know, this defense and their ability to hit, but also strip the ball and, uh, you know, be methodical in that approach. And then finally, I have Burgess on one of those interceptions taking it back to the house when you look at what he did at usc in 2019 it was really impressive that interception was really the thing that kind of put him on the map in the national scene that was a huge play and a big time moment at the uh coliseum and not only that you listen to the Rams scouts when they you know drafted burgess that was the play that really set them off it was a great anticipation play he stepped in front of the receiver and made a huge interception and took it back uh, pretty far I think he took it about 40 yards he has the speed so if he gets a pass and he picks it off he can house it so uh, look for him to return one of those for a touchdown so that means in Burgess's second year and arguably rookie year if we're you know counting it um, he has 17 games of course 61 tackles eight pass breakups two interceptions two forced fumbles and a touchdown i think people would be very happy with that output i know terrell burgess would be happy with that output not to say he doesn't have bigger goals but when you look at what his uh scenario is here you know coming back from injury and being asked to fill a giant role which would be jordan fuller of last year because jordan fuller has to replace john johnson uh, I think you can expect some good things out of him for sure. And this is a guy that don't be surprised if he rises into, you know, kind of a, a Quandre Diggs type of guy, a do it all type of safety. And Quandre Diggs was a pro bowler last year. I believe an all pro as well. Don't be surprised if Terrell Burgess inches his way into uh, that type of status as his career goes on. The Rams are very high on him. Sean McVay has talked about him and named him many times during his interviews. So I'm very excited to see him. Obviously, just a fan of him as a person, a fan of his game. Uh, but I do think it's going to be a really good year for Burgess. Next year, we can look to expand on those uh, projections a little bit because I think there'll be more clarity on who is starting. Uh, but before this season starts, that's how I have it. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit like. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and drop a comment. Let me know how much you are uh, waiting for Terrell Burgess to get going. Let me know how much you like Terrell Burgess and what your thoughts on him are moving forward in the back end of the Rams secondary. But that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoy it as always. Uh, be sure to tune in tonight. I have Zach Cohen of the Draft Network coming on. We're going to be doing a JE Live show, talking some football, and then I'll get on a little bit later and play either Heavy Rain or Knockout City and do a gaming stream talking with all of you amazing people. So again, thank you guys so much for the continued support. I really do appreciate it. And since I've been asked, I do actually, I did decide to make a TikTok. If you guys are interested in following just random videos, it's at JK Bogan. That's going to do it for me. You guys take care and you guys enjoy your Wednesday.